All right, so the OnePlus Open. You know, it is thick and heavy. And I saw many reviews saying that it's thin and it's lightweight. Sure, if it's your second folding phone. But if you're coming from a regular phone, you are going to find it thick and heavy. But what actually works for the OnePlus Open is that because it's thinner than other folding phones, it's less bulky than let's say Samsung's latest Z Fold 5. So yeah, I'm going to share some brutal facts just like these about the OnePlus Open. Some good, some not so good that not many reviews are talking about, especially now that I've used it for over three weeks. And guys, before I move on to the second fact, I just want to point out that I've got the green color here, which actually has a glass back and it's a tad bit heavier than the black one, which has a fake leather feel. Uh, personally speaking, I find this better looking. I just find it classy. Uh, but yeah, completely up to you. The difference in weight is really negligible. Now, the second fact, the cover screen on this thing is so good that you may never feel the need to use the main display inside. I mean, don't get me wrong, both the displays outside and inside are over the top, great flagship displays. Both are 10 bit, OLED, LTPO3 tech, so they're really easy on the battery despite being 120 hertz smooth and are absolutely mad crisp. Even the crease on the display inside is practically not noticeable. But yeah, it's this cover screen. It's so perfect that this is a great phone, even if you never unfold it, like ever. And it's a compliment. Now, this next one is super important. And I'm quite surprised that not many people have talked about this in their reviews. But before I get to that, what's the one thing that you guys are doing a lot on your phone these days? And I'm ready to bet it's a lot of Instagram reels, TikToks, YouTube shorts, or catching an episode of something on Netflix or Prime. And again, I'm surprised that not many talked about this enough. But the speakers on this thing are probably the best I've ever heard. There, I said it. I mean, see, the iPhone 15 Pro, it's loud, but at very loud volumes, it tends to get a bit harsh, which is not the case with the OnePlus Open. Also, on the Open, you can hear certain tones, which I completely missed on the iPhone 15 Pro. What I'm trying to say is that this is probably the best phone out there right now, if you watch a lot of content on your phone, which is pretty much what we do nowadays. Now, this next fact is actually a bunch of small, brutal facts about the OnePlus Open, so here goes. First, there's no wireless charging on this. Should have been there. Second, the camera bump is big, it's huge, and it's the only thing that I think is non-classy about the design of this phone. Next, it's only IPX4 resistant and not IPX8 resistant, which it should have been at this price point, like, you know, the Z Fold 5 is. So you cannot submerge this in water, and that's that. Now look, none of these are actually deal breakers, but at this price point, this phone should have had all these things, and it does not. But hey, there's a bunch of really good stuff also that it comes with, so let me talk about those. First, you get a full box. The phone, the charger, the cable, a protective case, and it's got a pre-applied screen protector both inside and outside. It comes in only one variant, 512 gigs of internal storage and 16 gigs of RAM. And so what that means is that for a lesser price than the Z Fold 5, you get twice the internal storage and you get more RAM. The phone's also got an IR blaster, so you can use it as a remote to control your TVs, soundbars, ACs, anything that uses a remote. The anti-reflective coating on the inside display is absolutely amazing. It reflects very less light, so you get minimal glare and great visibility. It's got the alert slider, which still most people love about OnePlus phones, and it supports a 67 watt super fast charger. So you get 50% charge in 10 minutes. So yeah, that's quite a bunch of positives too. Now, this next fact has to do with the cameras. And you know, OnePlus talked so much about it at their launch event. And I'm like, you know, they always do that. But hey, we always test it out. And for a change, they really cracked the cameras this time. And guys, if you look at these pictures, which by the way, you can download from the link in the description, uh, you'll notice that the colors are much more accurate and natural looking than what generally I'm used to from, you know, let's say the previous OnePlus flagships. I'm very surprised that even the greens are not aggressively sharpened and overly saturated and even the color tone is very apt. The details in the photos is also very impressive. The default focal length on the main lens is appropriate and has this really nice shallow depth of field as well. But overall, very impressed with the tone of photos. They're very natural, they're sharp and very well balanced. 
The portrait shots also came out very beautiful. The edge detection, even in some really tricky cases, worked surprisingly well. And just look at the way it retained the colors on the leaves. Again, <laughs> so accurate and very natural. Even on human subjects, I think it did a fabulous job of detecting the edges and it retained the skin tones just the way they should have been. And then I also zoomed into certain shots using the 3x telephoto lens. And again, the quality speaks for itself. Again, guys, I'll really urge you to go ahead, download these pictures and just open them in your laptop or PC and check out the quality for yourself. I also took some low light shots. Well, these honestly are not that good like as the day photos. Surely there's room for improvement, but definitely usable and better than many. Coming to videos, the OnePlus Open can shoot 4K videos at up to 60 FPS. And here's a video I shot in the daytime and I can't tell you how good this looks. It's so sharp, it's so clean, uh, very high quality. And even the greens captured are super uh, beautiful. Even in low light, it's quite good. Uh, there isn't too much breathing. There's a bit of noise for sure. It's not perfect in any way, but I wouldn't call it bad at all. And guys, what I'll do is I'll leave a link down below so you can download these samples and check them out for yourself. Overall, I really think the camera performance has hugely improved with the OnePlus Open. And I'm willing to go to the extent to say that this is definitely the best set of cameras on a folding smartphone in 2023. Now, the next one has to do with software. And did you know that OnePlus is going to give you four years of Android upgrades on this? So, you know, OnePlus on its Nord series only gives you up to two years of upgrades. On other OnePlus phones, you get three years, but on this one, four years. And that puts it right up against Samsung that also gives you four years of Android upgrades. But then coming to the software things, there are two things that I really like. Okay, so first it's their open canvas mode. The fact that you can just open three windows side by side and freely move between them or even have it arranged this way and still be able to move around easily, it's really kick-ass. And second, you get such quick access to your recent files. I can just quickly access it like this, drag out the file and send it to whoever I want. I mean, it's such good use of all that real estate. I love it. And then some apps make real good use of the partially folded state like YouTube that gives you extended controls up front and even in camera, you just get a better adapted UI. And now the last brutal fact, and I want to quickly bring out the uh, Z Fold 5 here. Now, a lot of people have been pitching the OnePlus Open against the Z Fold 5 and calling the OnePlus Open a better folding phone. In my opinion, I think it's a bit of an oversell. I think there's a sizable chunk of people who use the S Pen and the bigger unfolded state of these phones really gives to the use of the S Pen. And that's the one key thing that's missing on the OnePlus Open. Sure, the OnePlus Open is specced out to be better in most aspects, but then not having the ability to write on a big unfolded screen, it could be a deal breaker for some. All right, so there you have it guys, some brutally honest opinions about the OnePlus Open. And frankly, if you're not someone who's going to be using the S Pen for anything on your phone, then you're probably better off with the OnePlus Open. It's a well-rounded phone in pretty much all aspects, especially when compared to the Z Fold 5. But hey, if you guys have any other questions, comments, please leave them down below and I'll definitely have a conversation with you there. And if you did enjoy watching the video, Make sure you hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, hit that bell notification icon and mark all really helps the channel grow. I'll see you guys in the next one.